Look at him. He's really innocent. Alright, we are now in intermission, going to Ali's feet, uh, in sitcom, alright. Oh god. <sighs> Brother, please stop, get me back down. <sighs> What's up, hugs? Look, dude, when he does the little fucking, the, the... The, the floating thing. It's Hyug, dude. I took the fisherman's boat. To oh yeah, I can be land. in the water now. Dude, I love Horus so much too, dude. So much trash down here. Why is it so hard to grab this? Yeah, I'll play Amnesia, of course. It's great. Just like the real ocean. Oh, true. Oh, whoops. Nice. And that's true. That's true. That's true. That's fucking true. Oh wait, you can walk on the floor. Man, us humans are so selfish, dude. Killing all the ocean and shit just for our benefit. I hate when people litter, dude. I hate that. I don't think I'm gonna collect all of this chat. It's not like I'm gonna collect a million. Yeah, exactly, Natasha. It's so... I don't know, it's triggering, dude. Like... It's so... I feel like it says about the person who does it. Like, it speaks a lot. I'll so... <laughs> swimming, please. Please. I look forward to going to Alice's church in Sitcom. It was so nice there. Oh, It's unnecessary and lazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, you do nothing but hurt the environment with it. Because you're lazy. Like, Lel? Yeah, okay, Mr. This. <laughs> Alice's church sounded really interesting. I didn't know what it was, but she seemed really excited. <laughs> I needed to use right. the passport machine to open the huge door. I don't know. I just d don't really like I'm littering, my way man. Into the town. Yeah, Natasha, dude, this is the most wholesome game you'll ever see. It's amazing. Oh wait, where's the train? Did I miss it? Climate discussion? Yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Alright, Peppy. Someone asked what this game is about. It's about Horus. He's the first robot in the world. Um, 
he gets to live with his family and um, basically the father of the family teaches him about humanity and how to act and teaches him that it's really good to clean. Uh, years pass and the father ends up passing away and it's super sad because Horus is really connected with him. Uh, Horus gets turned like he turned like he gets turned off like he gets shut down. He gets shut shut down for many years, and during those years, there's a war between robots. There's a war between robots and humans. He wakes up only to find that his family is gone. So you go on a journey to find the family, uh, the daughter and the mother and those. Um, you find them, and now the goal is to make a. Um, a device that turns all evil robots into nice robots. <laughs> but what's so sad is Horus is so innocent, but he get, and he gets used by bad people, like he, people use him for robberies and shit. And he doesn't know, like he doesn't know, man. He doesn't know what's good or bad. It's sad, man. I don't know. It's so wholesome this game. Wait, where was this summer thing anyways? I am in sitcom, so... It's Fresh Prince. He knows that dying is sad, yeah. He has accidentally killed a person and felt guilt too. A man in a nice white dress spoke of creation, life, death, and ascension. The stories were slightly confusing, but I found them very comforting. After the service, Mr. Silton and some of the others were all very excited <laughs> to buy some smelly green tobacco from the man in the nice dress. Come on girls, said Alice as she offered the cigarette. Anyone partaking? <laughs> but Mrs. Silton pointed to her pregnant tummy as she said, you're as bad as my husband. The man, who I found out was called the vicar, took the cigarette. Robot, as you know, he said as he took a deep breath. Our sports day is this afternoon. Do you think you're up to the challenge? Oh, look at him smile, dude. It's <laughs> so... I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. All right. Did I win? Oh! Where's the music? <laughs> oh shit, alright. Oh, boot throwing? I need 20 to win? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yo, give me one more. Please, please, one more. Please. <sighs> oh, no, I started Nvidia shit. No, I got 22. Yes. Pelt the what? What? What was, what, what? Am I winning? I won. I walked up to Sim and the vicar, but I wasn't sure what they were talking about. Yeah, said Sim, 
totally filled the basement. She's got three old garages as well. All full, stuff everywhere. I mean, it obviously hit me hard when... Alice said she was popping inside. Let me know if you need any more help. If you really want to help, do me and yourself a favor. Stop collecting the bicycles and everything else. You've got to let go. I think Alice made the decision right then and there. As she just turned to me and said, It's all yours. <laughs> and he likes cleaning! Because the old man told him to. Of this game. Oh shit! Is that it? The last thing I found was a small photo album. Oh, it's Heather. It's the daughter of the family he grew up with. Local boy Dyson. No. I decided I would leave it here. After I had cleaned their basement, Alice and Sim got back in the van with everyone else. So I caught the train back to the house, which I suppose now really was our family's home. Yay. Mr. Steely Kill, thanks 25, and Zero, thanks 29, and Vanilla, thanks for one year, and Spooded Dude, Lederhosen. Yeah, Sparta. Leatherhausen is like a little gnome suit or some shit? What do you think about Leatherhausen? Okay, it's these things. I, I guess they're cool. He asked in his sub message, what do you think about Leatherhausen? And yeah, it's... I guess it's cool? I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can duck walk. I forgot about that, yeah. I forgot water on the right. You're right, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of water I can go... There's a... I can get... I almost have... There's only two upgrades I don't have, actually. And I'm about to get them now. By doing the boss fights. Breaks one time. I don't think I can do that here, though. Can I make this? Nope. This? Mind the doors. No. The train is out of our thing. <gasps> this is not breaking, is it? No, oh, it is. Okay, let's do a breaking ones then. Here we go.
Ahí. Horus loves this. Hey, <laughs> not bad, chat. There we go, you got your breaking. Oh, there's trash here. How much do I have in total? 226,000. There's a million in the game. Almost there. Main jump was the next stop. I could get back to the mainland and miss the Siltons from here. I love this song, dude. This song is so good. It makes me kind of feel sad, but happy at the same time. For freaking two people making this game is awesome. Even if it was like a hundred people, it would be awesome. This game is incredible, but... Um... I was gonna say something, but I completely forgot. <laughs> um... Yeah, the fact that it's only two people who's made it, and it's only 15 bang. bucks is... is a steal. It is. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if there's one artist or one programmer, I'm sure the devs might be here though. I think they've been watching my playthrough a little bit. Is it on the Switch? Not that I know of. Devs watch through the streamers to bug fix? I don't know if that's- I don't know about that. They wished me congratulations on my Dark Souls PB yesterday. <laughs> that's awesome. I took the fisherman's boat to the old lands yesterday. On Twitter. <laughs> oh, Paul is here, yeah. He's the main developer. <laughs> I saw you. When I got back to the house, it was quite late, so everyone was going to bed. For once Alice wasn't smoking her smelly tobacco, and was actually the first one asleep. Of course, Paul. Of course, And man. so, I actually felt quite peaceful, as I made myself comfortable for the night. Oh, it's a dream. Oh. Japan calling. This is Japan calling, came the voice again as the screen crackled into life. Heather leapt across the room, this is Nighthawk, she said, we're receiving you, what happened, Elba? Dr. Hero sounded so happy to speak to us. He explained that they were forced deeper into their bunker. He said they had lost many good people, but managed to fight off the robots. Well, said the old lady, we're nearly halfway there. As long as we get the last few bits we need, we should be able to broadcast the nice virus in a matter of weeks. Do not worry, 
said Dr. Hero. We will survive. Thank you, Leffer, for giving Paul a sub, dude. Alright, we got two... Uh, one boss that I see there. It's a skull, so I gotta get up there. These platform sections are really hard. No, this is my first playthrough of this game. Like, I started it because I saw Forsen's tweet saying it was the best single-player game he played this year. And then at the same time, people on Discord recommended it, so I was like, alright, I'll, I'll check it out. Oh no, where am I? Uh, okay. Oh wait, how am I gonna get out? Wait, I can do this. Oh, oh, oh my god. It's alright. Okay, now we're in this room. We gotta go to the right, right, right. Well, I could go up earlier too. I gotta get into that one, yeah. Teleport shortcut? That takes me top left though, I believe. Oh, well, I mean, that would work. I mean, I'm already here though, so fuck it. Oh, whoops. This door. That room, and then I'll go, yeah. What are these pictures? I haven't done the secret room yet, it's all the way to the left. I'm gonna go back for it though. Oh yeah, this is this room. Ooh. This game is called Horus. It's on Steam. Uh, anyone who can link can link it if you want. The subs can link. Otherwise you'll get... Flamed. Oh my god, I keep reading chat when I'm walking. I keep thinking he's not gonna crouch so fast. <laughs> but he does, so I walk right into the fire because of it. Also, okay, good. I've already got this one, I'm pretty sure. All right, don't look at chat now. There we go. And then it's through there. And it's up here. Oh my god. Trust that. Okay, I jumped. There. This room is so brutal because if you die, if you die once, oh my god! Thank God for generous hitboxes. If you die once, you have to redo it. All right. No. Oh! Okay. Uh, more to the right. No comments. Oh my god, no comment again. Wait, you created all these tracks, Paul. That is insane.
Oh, we're in the elevator shaft now. Mm. Let's see, what happens if I go here? Yes, and then I'll go up and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, it's those walls, All right? And now I can go through here. Yes. So now I am up here. We just gotta go left up here. And we got it. Can I bounce on this? There's a bunch of junk I don't have. A lot. Oh, you can just... Oh, wait, this is... The stuff you can't stand on all the time. Shit. Oh. Oh, my God. There it is. One more left. Oh, that's a something's nice. well worth less junk, but this could be sold for a decent price. Oh, there's another one down there. Give me that. Oh wait, this is the block lasers, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh god. Oh, I need this to lower this one, probably. Oh, no! Oh, wait, there's a door here, though. Where does that take me? And a door up there that's blocked. Oh, that's why you need the crown there. This doesn't lead to the boss fight. No, it's the door above me. Wait, was that secret? Corridor. <laughs> Just Adam, thanks for the 30 months, man. Thank you. cleared okay and this takes me where then can I get to the boss fight from here no east upper stairway I gotta go back can I even go back from here uh... I don't know if I can Well, can I... I gotta get that um, crown down here. Oh god. Yeah, Paul is one of the devs, yeah. Main dev. Oh god! Chandelier? Yeah. And now I have that song stuck in my head. Half the dev team are here. Right. I think that's so awesome though when devs do that. And they answer stuff, that chat asks. That's really good to see. 
That makes me happy. How am I... Hmm. I don't know if I need this for something. I do- I definitely need to get the crown down. Oh, I have to bring it, both of them on the crown, to weigh it down. Yeah. Because I'm not heavy enough. I see... Oh, the chandelier. Can I, like, oh, okay, there we go. And then there is one more here. Oh my god, no. No! Oh wait, I don't have to read, no. Oh, it's coming right here, all right. Woo! Don't fry my ass. Alright, woo! This is one of the most valuable things I've seen. Oh, nice. Alright, here we go. Boss fight. Master bedroom, huh? Oh, it's this guy. Or one of them. Robot sounded just like me, but much deeper when he said, Prepare to die. Oh. I need to throw those bombs back at him. Oh, of course it blows up after a while. That doesn't cut it. Can I hold this? That works. No! Boom goes the dynamite. Oh, you can't walk into that too early because you die then. I see. Yeah, because the fire is still there. That's why I die there. I see. Burning 
Also, okay, I'm not gonna reach chat at all this fight now. I'm way too greedy. Just play it safe and this is easy peasy. I'm just gonna play it safe and no, no greed now. Zero greed. W watch this, chat. Zero greed. Oh! What? Oh. That was unpreparedness, alright? Okay, if I don't beat it now, chat, I like this face. This really should not take this long. <laughs> Buttered fingers. that came from this robot was a large deflated rubber ball. I had no idea what it was, but had a fitted to power up in a matter of minutes. It wasn't that took perfect, way too long. but she made it work. Heather explained that by tapping the up button twice, then pressing the run button, I would be able to inflate oh, a large what? helium balloon. I would then be able to float upwards for a short period oh. of time. Second to last upgrade, yeah. Oh, I guess I can't do it with this. Okay, is there any other way out? I don't think so. Alright, so we have a timer up there. I gotta get back to the green room with this, uh, thing. Before- oh my god. Before, um, time expires. Uh, I don't want to walk there. Unless that could be- no, but it's gonna be slower though. I have to walk this way back. Okay, now. Oh, the laser is there. 
door to the right here. What's that? Far East Attic. Okay. Shit. There's a bunch of junk up here. I want it. Oh. Okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I can't continue. Oh, fire. Shit. This way... Actually, what if I go down in the other shaft? Wait, what if I do this, actually? Let's see. And then I'll go down here. What is this? Far East... Sweet. Okay, let's see. I'm chapter 14. It will be over when I le turn this one in, though. Oh, wait, you need key card here? No. Okay, down. Yeah, yeah. Just go down. There should be a door to the left soon. Oh. Here. Yeah, and then down left again. Oh my god, I have to do this room. What is this room? Still... Serving hatch. It's the other door in this room I gotta go to. Uh, here. Here. Here, here. Okay, and then jump like that. Does this take me back? Or where is- Yeah, 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 it, it does, it does. Wait, but what if I go in the other- can I make this? No. Can I make this? Yes, and then go this way. And then this way. God, it's so weird doing this in reverse. Okay. So now, here. Jump. Don't die. Walk through. Jump. Don't get greedy. Here, here, here. Oh. <gasps> Alright, made it. Alright. Wait, I've yet to unlock this room. I have five minutes. The block was very shiny. It looked like it might be able to reflect the laser beams. Oh, I can't put this down though, so I can't throw out with it because of it. Alright. The old lady took the circuitry from me when I got back. While I was gone, Mr. Deck had tried to escape so Mr. Logan was now literally holding his chain, just like the dog. <laughs> the blind man had finished up the wiring so we went to the roof to attach the satellite, and prepare for broadcasting the nice virus. The nice virus, to turn all robots nice. That's four of them!
When we got down from the roof, everyone was really happy with how the satellite dishes were going, except Mr. Deck. When Mr. Preston laughed and told him to cheer up, he went into a rage, shouting, I hope this all goes horribly wrong, I will double cross you all at the earliest opportunity. All right Deck, said Mr. Silton, back to the dog bed with you. I love that little jingle. Japan must have different clocks to us. As it was barely daybreak when Dr. Hiro's next communication came through. It was amazing. He really had managed to find a few other groups of survivors. Oh. So, these are our saviors, Boba said Fett. the French scientist. A band of thieves, some old ladies and a little girl. Well, they've done better than we oh, have, so laughed the big German <laughs> man. There are no bad robots where they are. The Frenchman smirked. Except for the three stood behind them. Those are our friends, said Heather, quick as ever to defend us. Guys, say hello. So there is hope, said the American scientist. The nice virus really does work. I've had Junior working on a similar virus, but the consciousness software is too well coded. It's okay, said the old lady. The virus really does work. The next day, Heather tried to finish off the nice virus code. There were a few problems but, with a bit of help from the old lady, everything eventually worked. However, by the time we were done, it was quite late. And, as Heather's nice virus code would take a few hours to compile, the old lady suggested we take it easy for the evening. She rummaged through her suitcase and pulled out a pack of what she called, cards. For some reason this offended the blind man who didn't want to play, and Mrs. Silton refused as she seemed to think it was some kind of gambling. But everyone else gathered around the table. <laughs> the old lady had explained that the rules involved lying, or bluffing, as she put it. So everyone would be trying to work out what each other's cards were. I think the pressure of playing got to Alice, as she folded, almost straight away. At one point, Mr. Preston thought he had won, but he really hadn't. Ooh. As usual, <laughs> Sim's sneeze gave him away, which made us all laugh. At one point there was a very tense standoff. Mr. Silton had some very good cards, but not as good as Mr. Dick. <laughs> Soon, it came down to Mr. Logan, Heather, and myself. Then, just me and Heather. <laughs> well, that's so unfair. The best cards possible. <laughs> I decided to let Heather win. Aww. I was so pleased how happy this made her. It was nearly midnight by the time the game finished, so most people got ready for bed. Leaving just me, Mr. Preston and Mr. Logan. Mr. Preston was trying to explain his conspiracy theories. This made Mr. Logan laugh. Barry already told you all that was nonsense, but Mr. Preston continued. Don't listen to Silton. He's a proper c <laughs> However, Mr. Logan still pointed out how flawed his logic was. 
For one, everyone who he claimed was in a shadowy syndicate ruling the world from behind the scenes, were the same people who actually ruled the world, the Queen of England, the President of America, etc. He wasn't even swayed when Mr. Logan pointed out that these people had either been missing or dead since the war, so there was little chance anyone was even ruling the world these days. Mr. Preston paused briefly, then smiled the smile of a man confident in his old beliefs, and went to bed. Which left just me and Mr. Logan talking. He was an interesting man, but we'd never really chatted as he'd made it quite clear he didn't really like robots. He'd seen many friends killed by them during the war so I could kind of see his point. I tried to explain that I had once accidentally killed an old man, and I still felt complete regret. That's good. You never really get over it. He said as he looked around. Time for bed. Good night.